As you leave the Reykjavik airport, you will most likely see the sunrise as arrival flights are usually red-eye flights. It is a beautiful welcome to the country of Iceland on a clear morning. Enjoy the scenery as you make the one hour journey to Reykjavik. We did not rent a car on this trip, so I arranged bus transportation prior to our departure from the US. There was a representative waiting to greet us and take us to the bus once we exited the COVID checkpoint. The airport is very small and easy to navigate. After a red eye with minimal food options, we were starving. We checked into our vacation rental near the Grandy area. In order to be able to check in early, I booked the condo a day in advance. That way, when we arrived at 8 a.m. in the city, we were able to immediately enter our lodging, drop off our stuff, and freshen up. The Grandy area offers restaurants, grocery stores, shopping centers, and other attractions. Our first discovery was the Grandy Mithal Food Hall. This is a fancy food court serving upscale street food. This became a hit among our group of six, offering a variety of cuisines for everyone to find something they enjoyed. In this area, you will find the famous Om Nam chocolate shop where you can enjoy some ice cream or bean to bar chocolate. Don't forget to pick up some souvenirs for yourself as well as your friends and family at home. For more information on food in Reykjavik, check out my video on food in Iceland. As we continue in the Grandi area, you will find some of the local attractions like Flyover Iceland Experience. This is a 4D simulator experience that exposes you to the beauty of the country. Even if you have plans to explore different areas of Iceland, I highly encourage you to participate in this experience. The show is breathtaking and allows you to see the country in ways you will not get to experience it on your own. After visiting the flyover experience, head across the street and visit the Whales of Iceland Museum. This museum offers life-size replicas of whales and porpoises that inhibit Iceland waters. The audio tour is included with the price of admission. It took us approximately an hour to complete. This is not a big museum, but one that might be really enjoyable for ocean lovers and kids. As you work up an appetite, you can enjoy the famous Valdis ice cream and Viet Noodle in the Grandi area as well. Viet Noodle is one of the few, if not only, establishments open past 9 p.m. Across the street is the Aurora Reykjavik Northern Lights Center. This gives you more information about the Northern Lights and it is an enjoyable experience in the evenings, especially if you are unable to catch the Northern Lights during your visit. From the marina by the Aurora Reykjavik Northern Light Center on a sunny, clear day, pick up the sculpture and shore walk by following the colored path. This path will take you past artistic sculptures, informational exhibits, and ships in the marina. If it happens to be a weekend, check out the flea market near the Old Harbor. Continue your walk to the beautiful Herpa Concert and Convention Center. The building is beautifully lit up at night, so I suggest visiting both during the day and evening. This path also offers beautiful views of the island and Mount Eshia in the distance. If you continue down the path, you will eventually make it to the famous Sun Voyager sculpture. It is a dream boat and an ode to the sun with a promise of undiscovered territory, a dream of hope, progress, and freedom. After enjoying the Sun Voyager, I recommend heading up towards Halkrimskirke. On your way to the church, you will pass Broad Company. This building is beautifully painted and hard to miss. If you need a little snack, stop in and enjoy one of their famous cinnamon rolls hot out of the oven. Then continue your uphill journey to Halkrimskirke, a Lutheran church like most churches in Iceland. The church was designed to resemble the basalt columns found in various locations around Iceland. The church is free to enter. During our visit, there was an individual playing the organ, which made the structure even more impressive as the sounds of the pipe organ filled the huge vaulted ceilings. According to the church's website, the organ weighs 25 tons and is 15 meters tall. Spend some time walking around and enjoying the beautiful architecture. Once you are done enjoying the sanctuary, you can pay a thousand krona in the gift shop and take the elevator to the bell tower. The bell tower offers beautiful panoramic views of the city. 
on a clear day you can get some great shots. There are two different viewing areas in the tower. Make your way upstairs for larger observation openings. You will see a statue of the famous Icelandic Viking Leif Erikson in front of the church. Leif is probably the best known hero of Viking Age Iceland as the first European to arrive in America. The statue was a gift from the United States to commemorate the 1000 year anniversary of Iceland's parliament. The statue was actually mounted in place in 1932 prior to the construction of the church in 1945. If you stay long enough or time your visit just right, you might get to enjoy the sounds of the bells while visiting the bell tower. When you're done with your visit at the church, proceed straight across the street from the Leif Erikson statue. You will find signs for a little pottery studio. I encourage you to make your way down the little alley and stop to see the handmade pieces that are created in the shop. This is the oldest ceramic shop in Reykjavik, established in 1927 and has been run by three generations. The pieces are hand carved and decorated with lava. I like to purchase artistic or practical items from the places I travel instead of junky souvenirs. This is where I found my souvenir for Iceland, a beautiful handcrafted fish vase, which they wrapped up very well in bubble wrap to protect it during my travels home. I encourage you to stop in and see if there is a piece that would fit nicely in your home to commemorate your visit. If you live abroad and make a single purchase that is 6,000 krona or more, including sales tax, you can request a refund of sales tax. Store personnel will complete the necessary tax refund check that you will return in at the airport before your departure. As you continue down the street, you will pass Cafe Babalu. This is a great place to grab a hot drink to warm up and a snack or a lunch. Check out the Star Wars bathroom downstairs the resident cat and the collection of antiques and memorabilia that cover the walls. Continuing your journey to the Rainbow Street lined with clothing and souvenir shops. This street was traditionally painted in rainbow colors for pride. In 2019, the Rainbow Street colors became a permanent art piece symbolizing respect, inclusivity, and love for all. Continue your stroll and head towards Ilgul First Square. Here you will find our favorite sandwich shop and an amazing gelato location. Get the vanilla lemon pistachio flavor. It is incredible. This area also offers some nightlight at Pablo Disco Bar, which is actually located on the third floor of the building. They are known for their cocktails and fun atmosphere while the hits from the 70s and 80s play. If you're looking for a unique tourist experience, head over to the gastro pub on the corner. You cannot miss the fancy pig out front. Here you can experience a seven course Icelandic tasting experience, including horse carpaccio, traditional Icelandic flatkuka bread with Arctic char, smoked puffin, mink whale, a shot of brevenin, ling, lamb rump steak and crowberry cheesecake. As you walk the streets, you will find murals and sculptures. Reykjavik is a very easy, safe and beautiful city to walk around. Jump in a taxi and head over to the Perlin Museum. The Perlin offers a variety of different exhibits highlighting natural Iceland from taxidermized animals and fossils to informative installations and videos on the volcanoes and the creation of the island, to a planetarium show about the Northern Lights, to interactive exhibits featuring information about puffins and various glaciers on the island. They even offer a walk through ice cave where you can experience the frigid temperatures of what it's like to walk through a glacier. You do not need any special gear to enter the ice cave. However, you will want to have your warm outer layers on when you enter the cooler. 
You will notice the black lines in the ice. These black lines resemble the volcanic ash sediments that are found in real glaciers. The ash lines were created during volcanic eruptions. The sediment would settle on top of the glaciers, then more snow and ice would form on top of the layer of sediment, creating the lines in the ice. Scientists are able to test the ash sediment and determine which volcanic eruption the ash came from. The deep blue colors in the ice are also present in natural ice caves and icebergs. The blue is created by snow that has fallen on the glacier and become compressed. This compression pushes all of the air bubbles out of the ice so they do not interfere with the penetration of light waves through the ice. Ice absorbs all colors of the spectrum except blue, which causes the blue wavelengths to reflect off the ice and enter your eye, creating the striking blue effect. Continue to make your way through the tunnels. You will find information about animals that make their homes in the ice and your very own ice throne where you can take pictures to document your visit. You may also find an actual piece of a glacier along the way. As you continue your journey through the levels of the museum, you will find more information about the different glaciers that cover a large portion of the island, as well as how the melting and freezing patterns of the glaciers have occurred over time. There are exhibits featuring the natural minerals found in the island. as well as other natural inhabitants like fish and the creepy crawly type. Head to the fourth floor where you can exit the building to the 360 degree viewing platform, which offers the beautiful views of the city. This is another great location to get panoramic views and photographs, especially on a clear day. Unfortunately, we did not have the luck of a nice clear view the day we visited. The weather in Iceland is very unpredictable from hour to hour and day to day. You never know what you might get, but don't let that stop you from enjoying your time. Make sure you prepare ahead of time by wearing appropriate layers for any weather pattern you might experience. When you're done, head up to the fifth floor for a snack or lunch. The top floor observatory offers a beautiful atmosphere to hydrate and rejuvenate before heading out on your next adventure. We spent approximately three to four hours at the museum before heading to a new and nearby location, Sky Lagoon. Sky Lagoon is a new thermal spa experience located 15 minutes from the city center. It is easily accessible via a taxi. Since we were a group of six, using the taxi service was an economical option for us. You can easily order a taxi through the Taxi Hire Fill app and even schedule a taxi a day in advance if you know you need a specific pickup time. Sky Lagoon opened in 2021 and is a hot new attraction for those visiting and staying in Reykjavik. It is a geothermal lagoon offering opportunities to relax, rejuvenate, and even view the northern lights. Enjoy a spa-like experience while immersing yourself in their seven-step ritual. Step one involves the warm waters of a huge infinity pool looking out into the Atlantic Ocean. For more information about this attraction, check out my Sky Lagoon video. There are so many sights to see in Iceland that many people use Reykjavik as a central point to travel from to explore the natural beauty of Iceland, forgetting about the city itself. I encourage you to include a few days in your itinerary to explore and enjoy the city of Reykjavik. There are highlights and attractions within the city that I was not able to experience during my visit, and I encourage you to discover other attractions you might want to add to your adventure. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Please check out my other videos in the Iceland series. You can also join the Facebook group and follow me on Instagram for more content and tips.